the corner of Nebo and Airport Road, friends of Mackenzie Mann gathered to put up some Christmas decorations after most of the other items were taken away by the city on Friday. When I got the call from Mackenzie's mom saying everything is gone, my heart dropped and it felt like they killed her all over again. 20-year-old Mackenzie Mann was killed on June 3rd, 2020 by 19-year-old man going 140 kilometers an hour. For the past 18 months, the memorial has been a place to honor her memory. We, every season we change it out. Uh, we bought stuff, we made different stuff for the memorial. Uh, we spent a lot of time, money into this. And Mackenzie's friends and family say this is more than just a memorial. It's a place where they come out and share memories together. It helps us get through the day. When you have tough times, you come here and spend some time. We come in groups sometimes and just talk together. We talk about Mackenzie and all the times we had with her. In a statement, the city says roadside memorials can be dangerous and hazardous to those traveling in the area or those who wish to add tokens or pause for a moment at the memorial. And it received a number of complaints about the lights and visual distractions. It's created joy out of a horrendous situation. We love seeing it. People have said that their young kids love driving by it. Like it's, it's a beautiful thing. And it's just to remember Mackenzie. Yeah. And the city just came and ripped it out. No comments, nothing. Family and friends say a heads up would have been nice. The city says the items can be collected and a new memorial can be established somewhere that does not create a hazard for those traveling in the area. Mackenzie will be screaming at them right now. Sean Cowan, CHCH News, Hamilton.